Hello and welcome. Today, let's get to know more about the newcomer in F1, Lawrence Stroll. Businessman Lawrence Stroll has been attracting the attention of sports media in recent years due to his investments in Formula One. From the entry of his youngest son, Lance, into the category to the purchase of the Force India team, the Stroll name arouses curiosity in journalists and fans. However, Formula One fans often end up believing in rumors and having false impressions about the Canadian. Consequently, they do not realize the true intention of his detractors. In this video, we will explain who Lawrence Stroll is and how he is changing the game of Formula One. So, get comfortable, turn that volume up, relax, and enjoy. Lawrence Sheldon Strulovich, best known as Lawrence Stroll, is a Canadian billionaire businessman part owner of the Aston Martin F1 team and collector of vintage Ferraris. The Stroll family, whose original name is Strulovich, has origins in Russia. As a part, many Jews fled Russia for democratic countries. A large part fled to the Americas. It was the case of Leo Strulovich. Resuming life on the new continent, Strulovich and his wife, Sandra, had two children, Lawrence and Randy. Lawrence decided to follow in the footsteps of his father, a clothing merchant who, years later, became an investor and introduced Ralph Lauren and Pierre Cardin's feminine line in Canada. He studied, worked, set up his first business, and started his initial investments a few years later. Specialists point Lawrence Stroll as responsible for the popularization of the Polo Ralph Lauren brand in the European continent and the expansion of Michael Kors in the market. In 1989, Stroll and his partner Silas Cho founded Sportswear Holdings Limited, one of the largest companies in the fashion industry in history. The company allowed the popularization of the Tommy Hilfiger brand, which gained a large space in the textile sector. In August 1994, Stroll married Belgian fashion designer Claire Anne Callens. On April 11th of the following year, their first daughter Chloe was born. Their second son, Lance, was born on October 29th, 1998. Owner of the Callens brand, Claire Anne runs her business alone, and her stores are in many cities in Europe, the United States, and Canada. Lawrence Stroll reports that he raced in the Ferrari Challenge, a competition made by collectors who own the Ferrari Model 348, around his 30 years and continued during the childhood of his children, who used to see their father at the event. That was the first insertion of Stroll into the sporting world, long before Lance thought about being a Formula One driver. Soon, the first myth about the entrepreneur falls apart, that he would only have entered the motorsport business because his son wanted to be a driver. Just as Lawrence acquired a taste for fashion by observing the works of his father Leo, Lance Stroll shares a love for the sport with his father. Motorsport is one of the most expensive sports categories that exist due to the cost of your labor and materials. Consequently, it is necessary to have financial support in the career of athletes, making it impossible for drivers without investments to enter from the basic categories to the highest. Possessing a fortune stemming from his textile business, Lawrence Stroll was one of his son's supporters on his way into the sport. Stroll has a large car collection, mostly consisting of Ferraris, from the Ferrari 250 GTO to the latest LaFerrari. In the garage, you can also find McLarens and the Ford GT. He also owns the Ferrari dealership of Quebec and the Canadian race car circuit Mont Tremblant in Quebec's Laurentian Mountains. In August 2018, Stroll led a consortium of investors in buying the Force India F1 team. They then renamed to Racing Point Force India, and as a new team officially, they re entered midway through the 2018 Formula One season and achieved seventh position in the Constructors' Championship. For the 2019 season, the team name and entrant was changed once again to Racing Point F1 team, with Lawrence's son, Lance, driving one of the cars, finishing in seventh position in the Constructors' Championship once again. Racing Point F1 team commonly known as Racing Point, was a British motor racing team that entered into the Formula One World Championship. 
The team was based in Silverstone, England. Racing Point made their racing debut in the 2019 Australian Grand Prix. The team's drivers for the 2020 season were Sergio Perez and Lance Stroll. On the 31st of January 2020, it was announced that Stroll led a consortium to invest £182 million into Aston Martin, in return for a 16.7% stake in the company. The Racing Point F1 team was rebranded as Aston Martin in 2021. Let's see what Lawrence Stroll's master plan is with Aston Martin in Formula 1. Creating a positive image for Aston Martin means the F1 team being a success, and Stroll is determined to push on. A close commercial relationship with Mercedes, too close, many of their rivals would say, led to Racing Point's most successful season last year. In the new factory, we're going to have 100% capability to build every single part in-house. That's a game changer, because currently, we contract a lot of it out because of the size of our facilities. We're putting everything in place, Lawrence Stroll said. Stroll defends the design approach to 2020, emphasizing following the champion's low-rate aerodynamic philosophy made sense given the team was buying a gearbox and rear suspension from Mercedes. The biggest game-changer for them was to go from 400 to 500 people. Stroll gave an extra £50 million pounds of budget that the team didn't have the year before and the biggest contribution they had from Mercedes was the ability to start using their wind tunnel. It was better than the wind tunnel we were using in Germany, the Toyota one. Stroll believes the introduction of the budget cap from 2021 will play into his hands, as the big teams have to reduce in headcount towards where Aston already is. Aston Martin remains a customer team to some degree. It still buys a number of parts from Mercedes, including the gearbox and its hydraulics, and permitted suspension components. But Stroll says he asked his senior managers whether this would stand in the way of success, and they insisted it would not. Formula One has the new rules coming in for 2022, and a new team is designed to win. That's why Lawrence Stroll joined with the big boys. To win. The aerodynamics will remain the key differentiator under the new 2022 rules. Lawrence Stroll is all about the people. Having the best CFD guys, the best aerodynamicists, is what Aston Martin is trying to achieve, and of the 100 people they have already added to the company, about 65% of them are in that area. In 2022, the cars are going to be remarkably the same to each other. The big differentiators today you won't see in 2022. Good thing, bad thing, we don't know yet, but they are going to be remarkably similar. So it's going to be about your aero department, and of course, things like reliability. Now, Let's take a closer look at the Aston Martin driver's lineup. The signing of Vettel is a calculated part on this ambition. The German's reputation has been tarnished by his performances over the past four years at Ferrari, but Stroll believes a new environment, where he is loved and wanted, will bring out the best in Vettel, and that his mere presence will strengthen the team. Stroll is thinking outside the box, and his idea is to prepare the team to win the championship. One of the ways Aston Martin is going to be world champions is to get the team to think and act like world champions. And bringing a four-time world champion into the team is going to take them in a direction where ultimately they will win many trophies. So, I'm not concerned. I know Sebastian well, and I have 100% confidence and belief he will do a fantastic job with us. He is more motivated than he ever has been. Stroll is equally frank about his ambitions for his son. To be world champion, Stroll Jr. has had some strong results. Not least his pole and leading half the race in Turkey last year, but not many believe he has consistently demonstrated he is the stuff of which champions are made. Nevertheless, Lawrence believes Lance has been extremely impressive. At 21, he did an incredible job. Last year, demonstrated he had the ability to perform very well. Confidence is not in short supply, but having taken a team that has outperformed its budget in the last few years and furnished it with better results, a new factory in the offing, and rules that ought to bring the big teams back towards them, Stroll sees good reason for his belief. Ambitious Stroll certainly is. Naive, he is not. F1 is a process that takes years to be successful. It is not overnight. This will be the same with Aston Martin. That is the story of Lawrence Stroll, a man who built his fortune with investment and entrepreneurship, works that require a lot of commitment and caution. If you expected the stereotype of a wealthy heir to a large capital, married to a sociolite and a playboy child, 
look for someone else. Maybe you will find a driver's father with that profile. But that is definitely not Lawrence Stroll. Listen.